they're going out of their way to gaslight. They're really going out of their way to gaslight. And none of it is working. They feel like I hate everybody. I'm okay with that, man. I'm not mad at all. I'm okay with y'all thinking that. Because like I already said it before, people are naturally hateful right now. They're killing each other. I never killed anyone. But if I speak about how we're uh, going about killing each other right now, especially right now at this point in time, if they hear me keep speaking about it, they want to make it seem like it's me who hates everybody. How ironic, man. It's crazy, man. I be wanting to stay... I be, this is one of the reasons why I be wanting to stay away from people. They feel like I just hate everybody. No, it's not that I hate everybody. The thing is, man, I started learning something about people. I started learning how people are quick to sneak each other out. Like literally, I watch people hang around a person every day and they'll be snaking that person out the whole time, bro. And I used to sit back and not say nothing about it. I used to think that it, it was normal for people to do stuff like this. I used to be laughing with these people and those same people would be also snaking me out. These people, like, and it's just a vicious cycle, bro. Everybody is just snaking each other out, bro. Everybody do things uh, very selfishly right now. Everybody is uh, carrying uh, the spirit of ego. Once you bruise a man's ego, especially right now, that's it, man. They were trying to take your life. It's not how it used to be, man. They were trying to take your life, bro. They were either trying to take your life or they were trying to destroy your life. Just because you hurt their feelings, bro. They're being extra sensitive about everything, bro. They don't want to hear you speak about nothing that they're doing. They see me not doing nothing and they think that I'm not nothing because I don't have nothing anyway. I, I Like, listen, I hear it all, man. I hear it all, man. I, I see how people look at me. I see how they laugh at me, too. It's, it, like I said, I've been laughed at my whole life. I've been laughed at my whole life by people like this. You know? And I never I never complain about it. I don't get angry about it, nothing like that. As a matter of fact, as soon as I even mention how people treat me and laugh at me because of how my life was, or they're laughing at other people who are going through the same thing, like, because don't get me wrong, man. I see, I see this happen all the time to other people, too. Especially when I was a kid. Like I said, these people would laugh at me whenever I go to school. Because I was poor. When my father passed away, my mother couldn't pay the bills. My father took care of all the bills. And she wasn't in her right mind anyway. So she couldn't really take care of me and my sisters anymore apparently that was funny to people you know and even if this follows you all the way up into adulthood listen man if you come out of something like that and you're you still have a positive attitude 
You're not out here stealing. You're not robbing people. You're, you're not killing people for less. I think you t turned out pretty damn good, man. In my opinion, you did well. You know? Because, yeah, a person could be angry after experiencing things like that. It should be. Like, why would you want to pick on a, and laugh at a person like that? That's not funny, bro. This is why I be talking about. I don't, I don't really understand people, bro. Why they do stuff like this. Those things are not funny to me, man. You know, I, and, and I came from that, you know. I remember one time I, I used to, um, I used to know one person, man. This is someone I grew up with, man. I still have love for this person. But she will, just, she will laugh at her own friends when they were struggling and going through something. But she kept calling her sis. And this is why I warn people about you need to watch out for these type of people, bro. Because that person is sitting there laughing at you for being in that situation. And you might not know that that reason, that person could be part of the reason why they're in that situation. They don't set you up. They done put, they done placed you in a situation to where you're being set up. You gotta understand, a lot of people right now, they don't want to see you succeed without them. They will either try to pull you down with them, or they will want you to take you, they will want you to take them wherever they're going. Wherever you're going, wherever you're headed in life, if it is, if it spells out money, they want to go with you. I'm telling you now, if they know you're talented and that talent is about to be explored, trust me, they're going to try to latch on, bro. You're going to start seeing a lot of haters come out the wind where these people, you never even met these people before. And they already got a whole bunch of opinions about you without even knowing you. They start lying. They start spreading rumors. Like I said, man, uh, you don't argue with these people. That's the spirit of envy, bro. You'll never win. The reason why you'll never win because that's the spirit of envy. It's blind. It's deaf. It's mute. It only knows hate. We live in, in a different type of world right now. You have uh, the thing about the spirit of envy when people carry a spirit like that is they only know how to destroy. They don't know how to build. If you ask an average person what they know how to build, they're going to talk about physical things if they have talents like that. But ask them, how do you destroy? Ask them the question, how to destroy? And that, that's very simple. You just walk out, walk outside and destroy whatever you see, even people. It's very simple. Nobody has to, that's not hard to figure out at all. Everyone knows how to do that. But everybody doesn't know how to build, man. That's why we're in the state that we're in. So yeah, if you think I'm angry all the time, this is righteous anger. I should be angry about this, man, because we could be doing better. I'm angry for the right reasons. I'm not angry with you. See, you are gaslight me because you want me to hold a grudge. But because I'm not holding a grudge against you, you can't figure me out. 
Now you want to throw gasoline on me and threaten me with fire. These people are evil, bro. All they're doing is proving what I already told y'all. These people carry the spirit of envy. Only the people who are evil do things like this, bro. I'm angry because I'm telling you, you should want better for yourself. That doesn't even make sense. Like I said, they try to make it seem like I'm angry because I don't have anything. I've never had anything. Again, so you can't even go that route. Once my fa my father passed away, that was it. I had to go to school with holes in my shoes. I wear the same pants two or three days a week to school. Other kids will laugh at me all the time. That's nothing new to me. So why, why now all of a sudden I'm just so angry at the world? That doesn't even make sense. I'm not angry. I don't hate people, bro. I hate that spirit of envy. That's a demon. I don't even hate the demon. That demon is hate. Let me rephrase that because people are trying to twist my words, man. I don't hate the demon. The demon hates you and everyone else. It hates me. It hates everything. It just hates. Usually when somebody carries that type of spirit, they get called a hater, don't they? A lot of you celebrate having haters and being hated by people, man. I don't celebrate that. If someone is hating me, man, I try to stay my I try my best to stay away from them. I'm not wrong for that. I try to keep my distance, man. I don't argue with them. I don't plot and scheme on them. I try to distance myself as much as possible, man. Because there are many, unfortunately, there are many people carrying a spirit of hate right now. They don't know how to love other people, bro. You, you ever heard that song by Lil Wayne called How to Love? These people don't know how to love, bro. They have to be taught how to do it, bro. Jesus Christ was the Lord and Savior. He tried to teach us how to love. And the man was beaten to death brutally. These people were spit in his face. These people were beating him to death, yo. Because he tried to teach them how to love, man. You think I don't expect people to do the same to me? They try to say the same type of stuff about him. They try to call him a liar. They called him a thief. They called him every name in the book, man. They made it seem like he was angry at the world. Because he was telling these men that they were doing evil things and they need to stop. This man was the epitome of purity. He was that. He is love. You cannot tell me if they did that to him, man. Why you think I'm not afraid? This is why I'm not afraid of what these people are trying to do to me. This is to be expected. They know their days are numbered, man. These demons know what time it is, bro. They are in panic mode.
they're trying to rise up and attack me. They are all gathering together. They're having meetings, man. And I'm only one person. I'm only one person, bro. And it's like, what in the world? What am I doing to make these people gather together like this, bro? And want to just, you know what I mean? Run a smearing campaign on this is how they did Jesus. This is how they did Job. This is how they did Elijah, man. I mean, tell me I'm tripping. Did these things happen to them? So why wouldn't I expect these things to happen to me and people like me? People who who are soldiers of Christ. They actually fear the Lord. They don't fear these other people. So if someone's threatening to shoot me down, it doesn't surprise me at all. But my question is, if I'm the one who's so angry with everyone else and I hate everyone else, why are they pointing a gun at me? I think you got it backwards. If you destroy the very foundation that you stand on, then how are you going to be, be upright? How can you be an upright man or woman? If you had nothing to stand on. I'm not angry or bitter for telling you this. I'm asking a legitimate question. These are the type of questions that we should have for each other, man. And stop all this BS. Trying to clown on each other, embarrass each other, yo. That type of behavior is, un is counterproductive. If we want a strong foundation, we should all build together, yo. I'm just saying, man. Stop all this separation, man. The reason why I talk about some of these laws is because these laws that, that are being put in place is the reason why you're seeing all this separation. Like I said before, there is an issue with homelessness in this nation right now. There are close to a million people homeless right now, and there's about to be more. Everybody's been seeing it, so you know I'm not making it up. But yet, there are people coming over here from all these other countries, and don't get me wrong, I have love for everybody, man. I don't want them to go back. I'm glad they're here. But when people see things like this, they seeing all these people, they're not in the same situation as them, but they're coming from all these other nations. Some of them don't even speak English. A lot of people are going to start scratching their head, bro. They're going to know what they're going to want to know what's up with that. That that's going to those the numbers are going to seem kind of off to them. They're going to start asking questions, bro. And like I said, I have watched, I have watched um, a couple of channels before. Uh, the, there were people who used to live in the um, U.S., but they moved to another country because they think that we're being replaced by foreigners. You know, I had watched another guy's channel. He, um, he's originally from New York, and he moved. He says uh, the place is being it's too many people from different nations there. And not that he has a problem with them, but it's almost like we're being pushed out. We're being pushed, we're being pushed out of our own homes. The rent is too high, you know what I mean? 
and things like that. And you can't afford this stuff anymore. The only way we're going to afford these things is if we come together. We we actually come together. You know, I hate to use this analogy, but it's the truth. But we have to come together like how Mexicans do, man. Everybody sees how they do it, man. When they come over here, man, they will all work the same job. They will all live in the same house and they will all stack their money. That's the way you have to do it in this place. You know, when you're laughing at each other for falling off, guess what? They're laughing at you. They're not going to, they're not going to, probably not going to laugh in your face, but trust me, they're laughing at this behavior, man. Because they stick together, even if they don't like each other. They stick together, bro. They know they have a better chance together than they do apart. Especially if they're not from here. People are cursing at them, telling them to go back to their country. Making them feel unsafe. You have to understand your enemy. They do. So whose side are you on?